Hi everyone, welcome to Narej Technologies. This is Srinivas. So, in this session, so we are going to discuss so one interview question so in Core Java. So, that is so how to access the non static members in Java application. So, question how to access non static members in Java application. So, we know that so Java application contains only two types of members either static members or non static members. So, mostly so what are the members we can access means so variables and methods only right here it is so if you want to access any non static member see here accessing non static member so means what so either variable or method either variable or method. So, how to access? So, directly, so we can't say reason if you want to access any member, first where you are, you should understand. So, because we have two areas, so either a static area, so nothing but free accessible area, next next one non static area, restricted access, and of course, permissions required. So, what you are accessing that we have to consider and from where you are accessing. So, that is also we should understand. So, here, here it is. So, from static context, from static context, from non static context. So, two options. So, what you are accessing is important and from which context we are accessing is also important. So, what you are accessing non static member from which context you are accessing either from the static context or from the non static context. See generally if you want to access any member so we are using three things so either by using class name or by using object reference variable or this keyword. So, here, here it is so using the first option is a class name, second one is a this keyword, third one is a object reference variable, object reference variable. In this case also by using class name and next one using this keyword and next one using object reference variable object reference variable. So, how can we access simple see as a non static members we always access using object address only using class name it is impossible. So, so whatever the context it is either static context or non static context you cannot access using class name you cannot access using class name. And next one so using object address we can access see this means what is object address variable only and this is user defined object reference variable. But here the problem is this we cannot access inside the static area we know that right in a previous FAQs we already discussed this we cannot access inside the static area. So, using this you cannot access only one option you have using object reference variable you can access and come to this one. If you want to access non static member from non static area, so can we use uh, this? Yes, we can because this keyword we can use inside the non static area and next one and here it is object reference variable, object reference variable. Here from the non static area also if you want to access this non static member we can use object reference variable these many options. First of all non static members you cannot access from using class name. So, from any context either static context or non static context and next using this keyword we can access, but this we cannot use inside the static area. So, using this keyword also you cannot access only in a static area, 
but in a non static area we can access ok. Hope you understood. So, how to access so non static members in Java application for more videos please subscribe to Naresha channel. Thank you. Thank you.